So a brief mention of humidity. So the reason we use the plastic bag at delivery is obviously to increase the relative humidity around the baby. And uh, what do we mean by humidity? It's just the extent to which the water vapor is there in the environment surrounding us. When we have a high relative humidity, the evaporation is reduced. So the insensible loss from the baby is reduced because the air cannot take in much more water vapor. It's already saturated with water vapor. So when you have a plastic bag and the baby is received under the warmer, the baby does lose uh, water vapor in the beginning, but it stays within the plastic bag. So it inhibits further uh, uh, water loss from the insensible loss. We should remember that evaporation produces cooling. So when the baby loses water from the skin, there is cooling associated with it. And uh, this cooling makes it more difficult to maintain the baby's temperature. So when you actually humidify, it works like magic that you can actually maintain the uh, temperature of the baby. For the same reason, if a baby is struggling to maintain the temperature, when you start dropping the humidity, you put it back up. You monitor the sodium, you monitor the weight of the baby. If any of these are problems in the first few days in an extreme preterm, always play around with the humidity, increase it. Don't hesitate to keep it high if these issues are happening. If a baby is stable and shows evidence that the air temperature needed is coming down, you can start uh, weaning the humidity uh, and gradual process. In uh, 90% humidity is started in the extreme preterms. You may leave it at 90% for the first five days or so, and then try reducing by 5% at a time. If you are unable to, uh, I mean, successfully do it, that is the baby shows an excessive weight loss or you have a rising sodium, you may keep it on the same and more gradually reduce it. In a 28 to 30 weeker, for example, you may start with 80%. And when you reduce 5% uh, every second or third day, you again monitor as tolerated. By the time the baby is uh, 10 days or so, in these cases, you may be off humidification. Uh, we should monitor the need for humidity based on the temperature requirement, serum sodium, and the weight loss. And the weaning should be individualized. There are always babies who may need a certain amount of humidity at a certain time, more than what you expect. So this is to illustrate a uh, plastic bag a hat for the baby at delivery. And uh, this is the humidification chamber. The water should ideally be changed every day. Uh, so we don't have any risk of infection from the humidity itself. We don't see any cases of pseudomonas sepsis in the NIC.